Hey Anika, hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but at the end of August I ran my first half marathon and it was awesome and it ended on such a high and I felt so good afterwards. By any means, I am not the fastest runner in the world, but I was really proud of myself because I finished it without stopping to walk and that was a huge thing for me when I used to run like 13 minute miles in high school. And I've decided to run a second one in December with my brother and I'm super excited to be able to share that experience with him as well as hope to get my time a little bit faster than last time. So I've started training again and I figured this would be a really good time for me to talk about the benefits of exercise. My whole philosophy is balance and consistency and I know you're kind of the same way with that. You're not going to lose 10 pounds running the marathon but you might lose 10 pounds training for the marathon. It's better to be consistent and doing something repeatedly more often as opposed to doing one big thing, stressing yourself out and just being too hard on yourself sometimes. The biggest thing is just getting moving and getting out there. So some of the physical benefits of exercise can obviously include things like muscle tone and fat loss, alongside proper nutrition of course. And looking good can also lead to improved self-confidence, self-esteem, and just better all self-image. And I think everyone struggles with that at some point. Which brings us to the fact that exercise reduces our stress and also allows us to improve our ability to cope with stress, which is awesome. And that also leads us to improved mood because of the endorphins we release during exercise. Exercise can help improve the symptoms of depression as well. There's also studies that have been linked that exercise can help control addiction. The brain releases dopamine or the reward chemical in response to exercise, as well as stimuli such as drugs, sex, and alcohol. Dopamine from exercise can help distract an addict when they're looking for that alternative source of a dopamine hit. Also, weight-bearing exercises such as walking, jogging, yoga, strength training, anything that uses your body weight is one of the best and most effective remedies to prevent and help with osteoporosis. Now going back to the endorphins. Evidence shows that exercise can strengthen connections in your brain and help the multiplication of nerve cells, and also altering the way that damaging proteins reside inside your brain, which appears to slow or halt the development of Alzheimer's. So all of this sounds pretty great, right? Basically, exercise is more than just looking good on the beach, but it benefits your entire body. And when I think of things for my health, I'm thinking of the future. I'm thinking of, I want to be active and fit when I have grandkids. I want to be able to throw footballs around. I don't want to have to have osteoporosis, or if I can at least do something that may prevent it now, why not? Because it's benefiting my mood, it's benefiting my metabolism, it's benefiting my whole body, mind, and soul. But let me reiterate, there's no need to be a marathon runner. You don't have to go running if you hate running, and you don't have to do yoga if you hate yoga. Do what you love and change it up. I'm definitely not one to stick to a routine all the time. And one thing that I used to be in the habit of is if I'm not breaking a sweat, it's not really exercising. And I've totally learned to convert my way of thinking. But I noticed I used to think, oh, I only have 15 minutes. What is that going to really do me? How many calories are, am I going to burn? Or is that lot really worth my time and effort? And the answer is yes, it is. Just find 30 every day if you can, ultimately. But even 30 minutes three times a week has tremendous long-term benefits for you. Generally for depression and mood symptoms, it should be a program that lasts at least 10 weeks because that's when you start to notice real solid changes. And honestly, my relationship with exercise has changed so much throughout the years. Basically what it comes down to is change it up, keep it fun, do what you love, enjoy it with friends, be outside, and I hope you have a happy, healthy day. See you next time.